Earlier this year, Reddit user CS-NL posted this question to the internet. Reddit, my friends call me a scumbag because I automate my work when I was hired to do it manually. Am I? <laughs> CSNL was hired to do manual data verification and fixing on this gigantic Excel table, rows and rows of it. He was hired in this department of a bunch of people whose job it was for eight hours a day, five days a week, to just do this to a giant Excel table. And they were pretty good at it. The typical daily output was six to 10 records a day with about 90% accuracy. Now, CSNL knew some basic programming, so he wrote a computer script to literally do his entire job for him. The script that he wrote completed over 1,000 records a day with 99.7% accuracy. <laughs> he replaced an entire department in a weekend of coding. Now, I know what you're thinking. All right, smart kid, stupid company. They should have just hired a programmer in the first place because this data manipulation thing is what computers were designed to do. But I want you to think for a moment about the place where you work. And I want you to think about what it is that most people are doing there when they're working. Chances are, it's probably a form of data manipulation, and it looks a lot like this. And this, if it hasn't already happened, I don't know what it is that you do. It probably will happen soon. This has already happened to architects and doctors and even things that aren't even remotely related to computers. Did you know we used to hire people to stand in the middle of intersections and direct traffic? Um, we used to hire people to print out yesterday's news and hand deliver it to us, to our homes. We used to have stores that you could go to to borrow analog copies of movies and rent them out, and they would charge you late fees if you didn't return them in time. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, what? If a computer scientist, if someone with a little bit of programming experience has a problem of not wanting to go to the video store, they can make a website that streams video straight to your computer. If people are having problems with textbooks and a programmer says, oh, I have an idea, uh, I'll make a website where everyone can edit it and it's immediately available to everyone online, they can do this. If someone doesn't like asking people if they're single, they can make a website that just lists that for all of their friends. <laughs> um, but even if you don't invent the next Facebook, Knowing the basics of programming is really good for your basic fundamental tools of thinking, like being able to break up a really big problem into really tiny pieces, or being able to iterate over something really quickly and make small incremental changes, or being able to find a little tiny problem in a big, complicated system. But most importantly, learning how to program will let you use your computer's full potential.